Hello, this is Mr. Kent of MrKent.com and maybe you have noticed on my channel uh, a way to make um, connectors to use a uh, balance charger for your Bebop battery. The first one I came up with, I've got a video on it <clears throat> and I will even put a link to it. This one is made using paint sticks and uh, glue and uh, of course then what, you, what this here plugs in like so if I can get it in there real quick anyway and that plugs in and then you can use uh, a balanced charger to charge your battery and you also uh, like uh, well anyway so this was my first video okay and then somebody said this was for the Bebop 2 uh, and then somebody said hey how about the Bebop 1 so I uh, and I got a suggestion from another a viewer uh, to get these connectors right here for the Bebop 1 because these plug right into the battery uh, uh, that uh, uses that the Bebop 1 uses. Uh, so the Bebop 2 battery and the Bebop 1 battery are different. So anyway I got a video on how to make how to make this one. Okay so that was my second one. Then I came across these little guys which are um, uh, strip light uh, LED strip light connectors and they were so close to being uh, good for connecting to uh, the Bebop 2 battery, but the uh, only problem is they're, they're too short and they're not exactly spaced right. So I tried that and you know, it works, but it doesn't work very well. And uh, so it, I, I gave up on it. So recently I thought, okay, first place I've been using stainless steel wire, like uh, in this one here, this is stainless steel wire and you can't solder the stainless steel wire very easily so I thought and because I keep coming to one, I want to make one that everybody can make and have parts available and so I thought okay and because it has to be about 0 0.02 diameter of the wire so if you go to Radio Shack and you get yourself four resistors of any value because you're just going to be using the uh, the wire because it's stiff and it, it'll make it'll make a good uh, you know for a connector and like a, it, about a half watt uh, resistor. So if you get four of those, you can use those wires. And then if it doesn't quite go in, I used, I took some, uh, it's, I think it's 320, um, 320 uh, grit wet and dry. And I, I sanded it off and because it had solder on it, you know, and that makes it thicker. And so that plugged right in to the, uh, the Bebop 2 uh, battery charger if I can get it to go in there there we go like that so a half watt resistor has about the right diameter wire if you go to Radio Shack or any electronics store and for this next project that I'm going to show you you need two of the or four of these okay so we'll lay those over to the side and I'll show you my latest idea um, and what this thing here is okay so there's my connectors right there and it's not very neat because I just threw it together yesterday. And uh, but what is this? Looks like a piece of gum. No, it's not a piece of gum. It's Play-Doh. You know when Play-Doh dries, it gets as hard as a rock. And I thought I got to have something to keep those things spaced right that everybody can use, that is easy, easily accessible. And you can go to any uh, Walmart store, or a lot of other stores, and get Play-Doh. So what I did was I. First thing I started with, I have, here's the other end, here's the other end of the, here's my resistors I used, okay? And these just happen to be gold-plated because I got a whole bunch of those. I used to be a ham radio operator. And so uh, these are gold-plated, which they were expensive, you know, long ago when they were purchased, but I don't need them anymore. So uh, anyway, so you take it and you can see the ends cut off over here, but you take these and you uh, plug them into nice and neatly of course if I can get the plug in okay now they're in there and uh, so now we can we can go ahead and work this up here this is just a piece of uh, of electrical tape and I think I'm gonna take it off and start it over right about there and that just holds everything in place okay so then we take and we fold it over pinch it really good make sure that they're gonna stay where they are and uh, so now we got that so now then there's our perfect spacing now all we need to do is put the play-doh on there 
Only thing wrong is these, if they're straight like this, they'll slip through the Play-Doh. So uh, what we do is uh, right about halfway, we just take it and we make a, keep it in the, you got to keep it in the parrot thing there. And we take and we make a bend, a really sharp bend right there. Okay. Then we've got that bend in it. Now we can take it and we can put this fork through it like so and then straighten it back out again if I can get it to work here okay get them all nice and nice and even okay so now only thing is I gotta make sure those are square with the world there okay so now these have a, a bend in them so they're not going to slide out of the play-doh okay so we got that much done now then we'll set that down there and open up the play-doh container they really make them airtight which is good and I, I I chose to use white because I don't know if the coloring would be any kind of a conductor or not but we don't want a conductor that's for sure so uh, and I tested mine out and it's it's good there's no no conductivity okay so we we just take and we put squeeze that like that and then we're going to push those through there like so and pinch and pinch and I think we're okay whoops that slipped out didn't intend for that to happen okay and then we're going to shove the play-doh right up against our battery connector and we're going to make sure that none of these guys are touching each other and it looks to me like they're not okay so we squeeze that really tight make sure it's good to go and uh, uh, we, we don't want it down in our in our battery cable though so we'll keep that out of there okay we get it like we want it we pull that out and we just take it somewhere where it's nice and warm and we let it dry and then after that we make our solder joint uh, we make our soldering uh, connections to the wires on the other end and by the way um, these I'll put a link to where you can get these you can get these off of Amazon but this will dry in 24 hours and then it'll be ready to solder to and I'm not going to show you how to solder because I'm too shaky but that will dry up and become where's mine at become just like this and it works great now if you're going to use it with a charger uh, besides besides putting these four wires on this isn't set up for a charger I just wanted to make it uh, make it to see if it would work but then you need to get a couple of wire a couple of fairly heavy wires and you solder to the outside two the two outside uh, wires and then this goes if you, in your balanced charger this goes to the heavy wires that come out of that and one other thing you'll notice I'll, I'll put this up here really close you'll notice that <clears throat> uh, it, it has some track things on one side and none on the other side and just so you'll know let me see where's uh, where's mine at here okay just so you'll know uh, the track things should be I'll, I'll bring this bring this by here okay I put those on top and the track things should be on the same side that the word parrot is on okay so so the track it, 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 we'll just make that shorter the track things should be up like that and you pull this out and um, the uh, do I have this upside down yep I got it upside down so let's just do it right okay so the track thing should be up now let's put this back in here again I'm sorry I'll have to cut some parts out maybe we'll see here okay so you see the word parrot there okay and we plug in and then our little nibs should be on the same side as we pull that away okay there's the word parrot and then the top of this 
and uh, the black wires on top and the black wires on top over here and the yellow wires on the bottom yellow wires on the bottom over here so that way it charges if you plug it in the other way um, I don't know what will happen but uh, just make sure that you plug it in right so the the little tabs as you put as you make this thing and slide it out the little tabs should be on the same side that the word parrots on when you plug it all together okay so I think that uh, when this gets dry I'll have me another connector tomorrow and uh, then if I want to use it for a charger I'll have to get some heavy wire and uh, connect it to to my uh, to my balance charger as it is I can use this on my tester and things like that without the wires alright so there you go I want to thank you for watching and God bless you